Yes, sir. Hey, guys. Talkers here. Uh, and welcome to Heroes of the Storm. No, I'm kidding. Uh, welcome to World of Warcraft. Uh, time walking Ulduar, actually, ironically enough. We finally got a time walking Wrath of the Lich King raid. And it wasn't ICC. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Alright, so, um... Today, I'm actually going to be the tank. Uh, one of the two tanks, anyway. Um, I was going to have Fuzzle as a Wuffakus join us, but unfortunately, she is currently taking a nap. So, instead, I'm going to be hugging this one by myself, and I will be doing a second one with Fuzzle as a Wuffakus later. Um, I don't know, I might, what I might do is when I'm recording, or when I'm running it with Puzzle as a Wuffkiss, I might just go through and do like a boss tutorial for each boss. Um, unfortunately, this raid is only up this week, and what I was saying Blizzard should do, and I still wholeheartedly stand by this statement, is Blizzard should, um, Blizzard should make these time walking raids a permanent thing. It should just be something that you can always do. And the reason for that is because you'll have a million more ways to gear up, you'll have a bunch more stuff you can do that you probably enjoy more than doing the same raid over and over and over again. And it doesn't actually look like I'm streaming to YouTube. I may actually be switching or uh, streaming to Twitch by accident. Let me just go ahead and double check that really quick. I was gonna stream this directly to YouTube. I might be streaming this to Twitch and then posting it on YouTube. Yep, perfect. That works. I will do a Twitch stream. It's been a while since I've done one. So, hi Twitch. Hello everyone. ahead and save this stream as time walking will go on. Go ahead and jump into the stream in chat so that I can see everything everybody says. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Speed kills, remember. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I do have the chat up now. I, in all honesty, hate that it takes so long for the, um, for your energy to respawn in these damn things. Get the hell out of my way! Yeah, that should've been all the towers. Yeah, that should've been all the towers. Uh, there might actually be a few over here. Yeah, there's that big one. And, oh my goodness. And I know there's one over this way. There might actually be two. Yeah, there's two over this way. Alright. I'm going in alone, guys. Don't worry about me. You. Go ahead and just ping where I'm going so that they know.
I'm sure it's been a really long time since anyone has done this raid, not just me. Please tell me more about how you could use a gunner, because I could also use a gunner. Cool down already. There we go. Lay my stream on my phone and it's frozen. Get your bitch asses away from me. is actually frozen or not. Nope, okay, I was about to say. It's kind of worrisome. I could use a gunner because I'm fairly certain they could give me a shield. And I need a shield. Should have been all of them. But for some reason, I don't think he's actually announced that the boss has arrived yet. Yeah, the boss still isn't here yet. Do I need to go up here before the boss will show up? It is very possible. Oh, no, the boss still is not here. Kill these bastards before the boss will show up. Eventually it'll die. Eventually. You've done it. You've broken the defenses of Ulduan. Yep. In a few moments we'll be dropping into Wasan! Be careful, something's headed your way. Quickly! Evasive action! Evasive action! Retreat! Hostile entities detected. Threat assessment protocol active. Never mind. So with this boss, there's really no tank in it. It'll uh, fixate a target for 30 seconds. Um, 
and basically if it fixates you, you just gotta run. Or it'll fuck your day up. Very hard. Oh god, there go both of our supports. It's not like it matters for this particular fight, but still. Easy targeting. Okay, not me. Now, I'm always paranoid about whether or not he's gonna target me, because I am so fucking slow, it's not funny. And just the, like, consistent damage that he's dealing is doing enough to already fuck me up. This is bad. He's at half health. So, I mean, progress. I guess that's something that only the cannon things can use. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh god, he's hitting me. I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield! Ah! Fucking running for my life! Fuck! Oh man, 28%. Come on guys, we got this. I'm at 18%. 17. See, it sucks because the second my vehicle is destroyed, that's it. He constantly bombards you with these missiles that he's shooting, that he's hitting us in our mechs with. And, um... Not me, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. And, uh, oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I got a piece of loot. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm so upset. I literally just got a fist weapon, which I can't use. Still recharging. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so fucking unbelievably hard. That sucks. Oh, man. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see, do we still have our supports? Oh my god, all three of our supports are druids. Could have at least got us a priest or something. No, no, let's not get a priest. You know what? Whatever. Huh. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Dread Raven for now. Hey look, I'm on the mount. Or I'm I'm on the boss. See? Razor scale. Such a beast ass mount. I'm sorry, wait, what did Blizzard do?
Huh. Oh, they won't let you go back into queue. Kind of dumb. Seriously, Blizzard? Yeah. It's the kind of thing you should constantly be able to look for people for. I can't attack that target. Although they would be able to teleport right in once they joined, so. Not bad. 15 minutes and we're already on the second boss. If these IES holes. <laughs> I have many, oh, many I'm wares. Go sell that. I mean, I like it. It was Good cool looking, and I can friends. use it as a transmog. But my Demon Hunter artifact weapons are the same item level. Not to mention in half a fucking year, <laughs> Many deals for a when uh, <laughs> Battle for Azeroth <laughs> finally comes out, my artifacts are going to be useless anyway. On top of that, can I say something? I am super hey, pissed at Blizzard because I always friend. opt into the alpha. I always opt into the beta. If you're given the option to opt in, I opt in. And I was going to do some awesome fucking alpha coverage for you guys. And Blizzard said, yeah, no, fuck you. We're not giving you an alpha key again, even though you always ask for it. Because fuck you. You're not cool enough for our alpha. You don't have enough subscribers. So I was going to be really cool, and I was going to be like, yeah, you know, I got alpha access. I say this every year, every two years, whenever the next expansion comes out. I'm always like, yeah, I applied for alpha access. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to throw some cool shit up here for you guys to see. And no, it never happens, because Blizzard fucking hates me. It's like, here, I came here because I needed a piece of gear. I have, like, 880, 920, 880. 880 and it gave me a fucking fist weapon which I'm always bitching about Blizzard should not leave weapons in raids for time walking if you have an artifact weapon and you can't use the weapons you get because it's a meaningless drop and then if you get it you're less likely to get something else so every time I get a weapon in one of these I'm pissed because I can't even use it And that's literally what this comes down to, is I can't even use it. Okay, guys, we need two more. Oh, by the way, this boss is basically a trash fight. You fight the trash, they'll drop an item. It's, uh, it's like a little chain thingy that you use. You basically grapple down the boss. You fight the boss until, I think, 50? It could be 30 but you fight the boss until its health goes down until her health goes down enough for you or until she breaks out like you'll see you'll see what happens i'm gonna just shut up just watch she does have a dragon breath uh i don't really think that there's a way to avoid it but she doesn't do it until she breaks free of the chain so as long as you don't stand in it you're fine Stunned. It doesn't tell you how long. So she might actually be stunned until about half. And then, yeah. Okay. Now she's permanently grounded. But she, she's broken the harpoons. And now it's a tank swap fight. Okay, you know what? I don't know who she's attacking, so I'm taunting. Deep breath. Oh, bitch. I didn't feel a thing. It doesn't debuff you either. Oh, okay, it does. I was about to say. Yeah, but she'll be dead. Like, after the next breath. If she even gets the next breath off. Nope. A quick shave. Yeah, see? Now I'm not gonna get anything. God, that sucks, Blizzard. It's not ready yet. That's right. Blizzard hates my guts. It, they really do. Alright, so that's two bosses down in 19 minutes. So altogether, we're probably looking at if we continue at this speed and we don't wipe, 
we're probably looking at about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Because if I remember correctly, Ulduar's got about 13 bosses. Yeah, although I've got 13 bosses. And it ends with one of my favorite bosses in all of Warcraft history. Oh my god, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Hold on. Hold on, you guys have to see this. Because even this is only a small taste of what this boss is. Oh my god, it's so badass! Uh, he's basically an old god that's locked away in this facility. It's an old Titan facility. Is it too <coughs> far away? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to pull all of you. I want to pull safe. I want to be smart. Okay, these little like construct things on the side, they are actually part of the fight. Now, I don't remember exactly how this boss works, but I know he's got an interrupt if you're casting. He's got one of these little like fire tornado things, but it literally comes out of the ground and it'll hit you. And if it hits you, I believe it locks you for whatever your um, for whatever your magic type is. Like um, what is it? Like if I was a druid and I was healing, like I was using nourish or something, and he uses his little fire spout, I would become nature locked, or a priest, I'd become holy locked, or a paladin, would be holy locked. Stuff like that. So... I lost the healer. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wow. I'm gonna keep this up here, and I think this is how I'm gonna start doing this. Just so that it's not in my way. And it doesn't exceed my buff bar. <coughs> oh shit! Okay, because I won't die um, if I if I end up hitting no health, I'll just meta. God. Wee! <laughs> I didn't even mean to do this. All right. So, we need the boss over here. Oh, give me just one second. Arise, soldiers of the Iron Crucible! 
The Maker's will be done! That fire ability right there is what interrupts. I need to yeah. get Alright, I don't think this boss does a stacking debuff. I think the only thing we need to do is... Gosh darn it. Let's make sure that we're picking up the ads. Okay, I have another iron one here. There it is. Dude, seriously? Why? There we go. Burn! Burn in the maker's fire! But they didn't get the debuff. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep tanking them. Oh look, that one actually ignited. I need to get closer. I'm out of here. I need to get closer. Soldiers of the Iron Crucible! Come on, you bastards. Ignite, ignite, ignite. You're literally soaking in the fire. I know, <clears throat> I know for a fact that they're supposed to ignite. I don't know why they're not. Oh my god. Oh, why? Why, why, why? It didn't meta me, did it? I was waiting for the metamorphosis. Burn in the maker bones will serve as kindling. I will burn away your impurity. Your bones uh. will serve as kindling. Arise, soldiers of the Iron Crucible. The Maker's will be done. <laughs> Did we not have a B res for the other tank? That's funny. Fucking three druids. Good God! One demon hunter. One. Oh. What's happening? Oh. Okay. One demon hunter. One paladin. Three motherfucking druids. One warrior. I don't think. Did we have the warrior before? We might have had the warrior before. One. Uh, warlock, and then four fucking rogues. I swear, this is ridiculous.
Oh man, 30 minutes in. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do it in an hour because we're only on the third boss now. If we were able to one-shot him, the next boss is super easy. The next boss is basically manage adds and destroy the heart. And, you know, appropriate your cooldowns or use your cooldowns in the appropriate points. That's it. Phew. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm trying to get my stream back up on my phone. And it looks like the only thing I can do is just open the stream all over again. Because Twitch, for some reason, does not want to work on my phone. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and everything. Like, I have internet. Oh, we lost somebody. I think we lost somebody. Because we're only at 11 now. I think we were at 12. I don't fucking remember. All right. I think it would have been better if we had another type of healer other than just three druids. But, um... I mean, not that there's anything wrong with druids or anything. But, like, druids are really heavy on heals over time, and they do have, um, they do have good heals, but, like, it'd be, it, I feel that it'd be better to have, like, a stable healer, like, someone who had the ability to just kind of drop a big heal every now and then, like, holy priests are fucking amazing, um, shamans, shamans are great. And especially, I don't know if they still have Earth Shield or not, but like especially because of Earth Shield, because like you get that extra armor. I cannot wait until class buffs are back. I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but in Battle for Azeroth, they're bringing back class buffs. Oh my god. So fucking excited about class buffs. Also, what I might do is I might break this live stream up into sections because one, two, three, the four here, three there, oh, four there. Oh, shit. Insolent whelps! Your I'm blood out of will range. temper the weapons used to reclaim this world! Alright, so for right now, I'm going to focus on getting some damage done. Until one of the little iron bastards is up, and he just... Yeah, there we go. I need to get closer. Burn in the maker's fire. Why? Why are you only at three stacks, dude? I don't understand it. Ten, there we go. Alright, another one just dropped up too. I don't know where it is. There it is. Okay, another one just rose. That one. Oh no, I taunted boss. Please taunt off me. Pretty please. Pretty please with the cherry on top taunt off of me. No. Okay. I don't know why I thought he would taunt off of me. Burn! Burn in 
the maker's fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Last time I did not get a metamorphosis upon almost dying. So this time I'm not even risking it. I am literally popping meta immediately. I need to get closer. Okay, cool. I gave you a pull right there to use. Use the damn pull. I'm pulling the boss over here. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. This is such a bitch. Okay. Ow. I'm out of risk. Okay. Oh, he just picked someone up. <laughs> I forgot he does that. <laughs> okay, so occasionally he'll pick up a DPS or a healer, and he'll toss them in his little uh, lava furnace thing on his belt. I don't know if you can see him in there. Hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, no, that's not the right angle. What about, like, hold on. Good grief. Oh, they're right there. That's the best view I can give you of them. He'll pick somebody up and he'll fucking drop them in there. And they just kind of have to sit there until a, a certain amount of time passes and then they'll fall out. Yes! Bitch! Oh. You know, that's another thing that I absolutely love about this. We're in here. Bitch, it's not stealing. I just fought the boss for it. We're in here in a time walking raid, not a dungeon, a raid, mind you. And Blizzard has the nerve to make the raid bosses, raid bosses, drop five fucking uh, time walking badges for a raid boss. That is so bullshit. I think all the leather is going to that rogue, though. <laughs> Twenty-three. All right, so this next boss is super fucking easy. When I say super fucking easy, I mean he is super fucking easy. Oh my god, no, we lost the healer. Oh no! Actually, thinking about it, it's not that easy because... It, sorry, I... One of his abilities, uh, he, he throws like a temper tantrum. If I remember, if this is the boss I'm thinking about, he's working out. That's amazing. Look over there, he's working out. He's stretching and shit, like... Wow! He's just enjoying his day, and we're about to come up here and fuck his shit up. If I remember correctly, though, this boss is like a small child, and, um... He'll throw a temper tantrum. And it's like a mass of AoE damage. If I remember correctly, I, I I think this is the boss. He hits really fucking hard. And it's heavy raid light damage. Again, luckily we have druids. If we swap if we like set the tranquilities. In fact, hang on, let me make sure that this is Well heart, no, no. Uh yeah, okay.
Haha, <laughs> man. Seriously, I love that. Ready check. Da -da -da. I'm sitting here, I'm literally, I'm typing something out that's really important for the raid. God, it's been too long since I've done this raid. I need to target something first. Oh wow. I can't attack that target. He got pushed back into that phase really quickly. Oh fuck, that means he's gonna be spawning more ads though from another spot. I don't remember, but I think yeah. Okay. He does. He absorbs the ads. Except for this guy. This guy's an actual tank of a lad. And those guys over here, like the bombs, I don't think he absorbs the bombs either. I think the bomb's only goal is like to reach your, uh, your raid or the boss and explode on the raid. Okay. Fuck it. Nice stuns actually work. Okay. I need to get closer. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck me, man. Oh, really? Really? Well, fuck you too, Blizzard. Holy shit. Damn. Fuck. <sighs> All right. That sucks. I'm going to go ahead and end this stream here, and I'll go ahead and start up the next one in just a moment. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. We'll see you.